Welcome to St Benfro, the home of Grubs and Pug. He's partly French, partly Welsh, and a lot Pug. And he's the captain of his own ship. It's the 5th of December, and Grubson makes the mistake of asking his children what they want for Christmas. She said, burst out Billy loudly, she said, what about our presents? You didn't mention those. And after all, that's what Christmas is for. It's for presents and for children. It's for presents for children. And you forgot to say that. So just how far will Grubson Pug go to make Christmas special? Some of our students at Whopper were given the book and then attended a workshop with Jane um, and they explored some of the characters and the storylines and they really had a great time and really enjoyed it. Banzai is great because he likes arm wrestling and he's really fighty but nice. None of us know what he keeps in his carpet bag but he never lets it out of his sight. Grubson's voyage takes him all over Europe to get the perfect Christmas presents. Only his youngest son, the tiny Henri, has no demands. He just wants his father home for Christmas. Small, sensitive and a tiny bit afraid of anything involving a ball, he was the weeniest and wheeziest of the family. Robes and Pucks goes to France to buy a racing bike from a whippet with a bad cold called Frank. Then your captain is a very excited chihuahua. The most beautiful shop is in London, where Fraulein Schneerer sells grand pianos. Her shop is full of chandeliers and candles and big windows. Everything sparks when she plays her pianos. On the return voyage, Grubson decides to take the fastest rather than the safest route home. They run into winter storms and hit rocks. And we haven't got time to tell you about Horatian Fox or the Lost Bridge Made of Gold or the Christmas pudding. Lefty's main duty upon the Beagle was to make sure all the ropes and rigging were in full working order and he knew 37 different kind of knots. The book was excellent, we, we read it together and we thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah. And we read it lots of times, we read it some in the car, some at bedtime, some in the afternoon. It really is a great story for all the family and my son couldn't wait to go to bed at night to read it. We need to know what's in the bag, you see, we need to know what's in bad bag. We've got to find out what's in the bag, haven't we? Oh. Grubs and Pugs Christmas Voyage and the sequel, Banzai's Unexpected Voyage, are available now at Amazon.co.uk and all good bookshops. Or you can buy them and find games and competitions at whistlingcatbooks.com. And we actually have the author in here today, if you didn't know.